Welcome back to this new video of TaxPress. Today, I'm going to show you how to run the Flutter application using the Visual Studio Code. So, the Visual Studio Code, first of all, is a really great place where you can just add free furniture. We got it covered. So, let's see how we can add the actual Flutter directly inside this element. So, first of all, let's understand Flutter. Now, Flutter is a powerful framework for building natively completed applications for mobile, web, and the desktop from a single code base. So the Visual Studio Code is a lightweight, powerful code editor and perfect for the Flutter development. So both of them are going to be really great. And today, let's see how we can set up your environment and running your first Flutter app. So to install the Flutter, first we need to install Flutter. So head over to the official Flutter website, which is flutter.dev, and here choose the option that says Get Started. Inside Get Started is going to be show, uh, showing you, and of course, which is the platform to get started. In this case, we're going to be using a Windows because this is the current device we're actually going to be using. Now, I want to go for OK. My choice informs what part of Flutter tool we configured to run the application. We can set those additional platforms later. So I choose to install directly into the desktop. So make sure that you follow and have the requirements in order to continue and of course, make the installation of the application. So as you can see, we now have here the Flutter extension for VS Code. So I select it and I go for install. So you need to have open Visual Studio to make sure that you have now access directly here into Flutter. So you have the link to download in the description, guys, so you can download the Visual Studio Flutter totally for free, depending, of course, which is the actual element which you want to get started on. So after you download or extract the Flutter SKD, you can install this directly inside the actual element, which is the Visual Code. So I'm going to hit into Install, and this is the part which you want to set up the Visual Studio Code. So make sure that this process has not been installed automatically. Make sure that this one is verified by the .code.org, which are the developers of the Flutter application. Now that you have installed the Flutter section, what I wanted to do is to have, of course, edited the Flutter extension and installed it. So this extension provides rich support for Flutter development, including code, compelling debugging, and more. So to start any Flutter, Flutter project, we wanted to open the Visual Studios we are now inside here. And course, press Control Shift P or Command Shift P if you're using a actual Macast. So to start adding a Flutter, select and choose the location for your product, or go into File and create a new text file. Inside here, what you can do is to add, let's say for example, the Control I, and I can just select Flutter. Now into Flutter, I have now this element where I can just choose a porter or asked Copilot to get started here into Flutter. Automatically, it's going to be generating me elements to where I can just use it to get started. To get more elements, we can focus into the settings. Into settings, what you can see is to check out the settings that found it. For example, everything about the users, the text editor, the workbench, the windows, the features and more applications. If I get into apps, you can check out the process keyboard, updated settings, experimental, and much more extensions. So usually, for example, I'm using a lot of Copilot. Copilot can help me a lot to get started with elements that I don't usually understand. So let's go back here into the Flutter. And directly here into the Flutter, you can disable this or you can enable it when you wanted to get started creating an actual file. So if you go directly here into File, you can create a new window. And you might be seeing that here now we have the Visual Studio coding, but we can start a new file and connect it, of course, for example, using the actual Flutter. So create a new file called Flutter example. And here I can go for create my file. And of course, now I can start creating my actual elements, for example, Control E. And let's get used Flutter as a template example for a app of chess game there we go now i have the generation here is the generation of the new important impact for the material of the dot so you can see they have the front application here is the class here is our actual coding and we can use this to later on deploy it and start with our remote uh window 
So as you can see, this is how we can actually use this floater element to install it directly into the Visual Studio. What you can do is to add much more elements directly here inside the lab pod and focus for extensions. You can add it more or focus directly into the marketplace. So let's go here below the page and make sure that you can check out the marketplace directly into the actual new element of the Visual Studio. So with that being said, guys, this is now how we can actually add the floater directly into the Visual Studio. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You want to see more great amazing tools and how we can add more elements using the Visual Studio coding. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you next time.